everybody, Pastor Donnie Sanders, so glad you could join us today for your daily devotional discipleship so you understand why you believe what you believe. We're excited you can be here. As you, always, you need a couple of things. You need your Bible. Uh, besides your Bible, if you look out in the description, there's a handout for you that you can print out, fill in the blanks, follow along with us, and look back and study from time to time. And so today we're talking about uh, part three of what does it mean to be born again? And today we're going to be talking about getting a new mind. Uh, and so this is going to be part one of getting a new mind. There's a two-parter. So it's a two-parter within a, 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 a four-parter. So it's pretty interesting. So we'll take a look real quick. We're going to be looking today, if you want to study a little bit of Romans 12 and 2, that's where we're going to find ourselves a little bit today. So we, we've seen that our spirit becomes a new creation, but it, and that comes pretty instantaneously. We, we know for the most part we do become a new person, but if you haven't already found out, you'll find out your mind is a little slower. It, 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 it is not instantaneously at all. It is a process. Your mind is the exact opposite. It, it, it's stubborn. Nothing about your mind will change instantaneously. And, and you, you've probably already discovered that, you, that, that, you, you're, you, that your mind is pretty much the same as it's always been. Uh, let's look at Romans 12 and 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of God. God. Here is how the Bible tells us to deal with the mind. And we got to deal with the mind because you will find out your mind will war with your spirit. That's why Jesus told us that we, we walk by faith and not by sight. In that itself, it tells us there are two things going to be fighting. My sight, to which my mind interprets, and my faith, to which my spirit receives. So, so we, we need to look at three things. This scripture that we just look at Romans, it tells us three things. Number one, it tells me what I've already shared with you. It proves that our mind does not change at conversion. Re, uh, remember what we looked about yesterday. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. But it's not your mind, it's your spirit, it's a little bit of your soul. If your mind would have passed away, you wouldn't have remembered your name. You would have forgotten who you were. You'd be walking around telling me, what is my name again? You know, some of us feel that way because we get so busy, but you'd have to learn to read again. You'd have to learn to walk again. So it, your, your mind is the same as it was before. Well, you might say, well, Brother Donnie, I got gentler when I got saved. Remember, that's your spirit. That's part of your spirit. I, I cry more. Now, that's your soul. It, 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 but your mind is a part of your body. It's flesh, and it's what you think with and, and, and not what you feel with, okay? So we, we understand that, that our mind doesn't just change at, at conversion. Number two, we've learned from Romans here that our mind must be renewed. We've got to renew our mind. You, you need to think of it as this fashion. Um, I, I know a lot of people, they, they, they play video games on computer. And from time to time, my friends will tell me their files become corrupt and the system no longer works right. So in order to get it to work right, they have to first delete the old files and then reinstall the new one. Think of your mind as a, a hard drive, if you will. And there's going to have to be things that you have to delete, you have to get rid of, and then you have to install something new. For for example, let me give you just a tiny example. Before you got saved and you got sick, what's your first inkling? It's to go to the doctor. But scripture tells us that's not should be our first inkling. It says that if there are any sick among you, let it call on the elders of the church and let them lay hands on you. So we have to take that old way off and put something new on. Let's take it another step. Jesus said, when someone slaps you, how are we supposed to react? The old Donnie would have said, I slap them back. But Jesus said, we got to get that line of thinking off the hard drive and get something new on this new hard drive. And that's to turn the other cheek. So we've got to transform our mind. We've we got to renew our mind. And that 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 is crucial. Why? Because the third thing, it's crucial to our transformation. Our mind is crucial to our transformation. Romans 12 and 2 tells us when we renew our mind, we're able to become transformed. What does that mean to become transformed to you? 
I'll put it to you this way. Paul likened us in our growth in Christ to a baby growing to a child and then to a man. Think about it like this. A child cannot handle problems the same way an adult can. An adult gets put serious problems. You put those on a child, they can't handle it right. I remember being a child and a bully pushed me into the dirt. I remember this. I was in grade school. I remember this, four, I mean, dirt, face in the mouth. My first instance was to cry because that's who I was as a child. As I've gotten older, I've learned to be able to process those emotions and be able to handle it. Uh, I, 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 I've become better. And, and so the same way when we're able to transform, we're able to grow. I remember who I was as a young pastor. Sometimes when, when, when uh, big giant ordeals would happen, how I'd get worried or financial crisis. When I first came to Christ, William, we were deep in financial crisis. Couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. How? How did I get through this? I transformed. And I transformed by the renewing of my mind that I started learning to trust in the Lord. And said, God's not my church. It's your church. I didn't uh, I didn't call myself. I didn't do You called me. And God, you'll equip me. And I remember going through one of the toughest times in my ministry where I found out in the span of just a couple of months that we were being sued twice, okay, for multi-million dollars. Now, if I'd have been a little younger, that would have overwhelmed me. But through growing, and God worked it all out because that's what God does. And because I learned that, I remember saying, God, I'm not going to worry. You're the same God that brought me through. And before we close today, can I just remind you of why God got so angry with the Israelites that he wanted to kill them in the desert? It's been forgotten what, what all he did in Egypt. And they would get worried and they would cry out and complain. We've got to learn to be transformed into new creatures. And we do that by the renewing of our mind. To not to lean into stress, but to lean into faith. Not to lean into worry and anxiety, but to lean into perfect love that casts out all fear. So you need to make sure you're renewing your mind. God can't do that for you. you got to get involved and do it yourself. I'm so glad you joined me today. Make sure you take a look at the end of your handout for some questions, some soul-searching questions. Have a little time alone with the Lord. Spend some time praying, and I hope this has helped you today. God bless you, friends. We will see you tomorrow.